Leslie Taylor Taylor. The I got it moment is a moment where you feel that exhilaration of what it's like to get that new bit of juice, that new bit of knowledge that you didn't quite have before. Or maybe you had it, but you didn't quite process it, but now you got it. Because when you get it, you learn from it. What was your I got it moment from the time that you decided to do this film all the way through to the time that you completed the film? Wow. Oh, I got it? <laughs> this one. <laughs> okay, let me That's get what it. the I got it is supposed to do for, for you. Is so that? I, can get it. Um, I don't look at movies the way my movies, the way you look at my okay. movies, or the way the average person looks at uh, my movies. They look at the end result. Mm -hmm. The end result is either going to be a good movie or a bad movie. Right. But I look at my movies like my children, and um, and I've done five movies, mm -hmm. and they're all my kids. The final product because I'm gonna love the final product. Okay. I look at the journey that I um, mm. went on as a um, filmmaker. You can make a decision for everyone that sees this film. Mm -hmm. What would you want their I Got It moment to be? What message would you want them to walk away with that would stick with them for the rest of their life if you can make that decision for them? Another I Got It. <laughs> <laughs> because your movie's deep, oh. and I think that so well, many don't make people. Me think, don't make no. me think. I got it. Okay. What I would get from this, what I hope people get from uh -huh. this, is that you can love yourself. Mm. Loving yourself is beautiful. That's true. Because yeah. Precious has learned at the end of the day right. to love herself. To love herself, through yes. Through all this, you know, she's loving herself. And through all of that, what I loved about Precious, through I all can't the... Make you, I, you made me get it. You made me get it. I got it, Mom. Ah, he got it. In your uh, second chapter, you talk about face-to-face -face with the real you, what you do, with why you do what you do. Mm -hmm. I like that because if we don't get to the truth, of the, at the root of the issue that's causing those problems, we'll never learn, we'll never grow. And I think most of us tend to point the finger at this person, that person, it's never me. But I always tell people when you point the finger, you have three more little fingers pointing right back at you, right. so you need Absolutely. to take stock of yourself. Mm -hmm. So how can we get that person to come to their real truth of who they are and what they stand for? Because if they don't, they're just gonna take that baggage back into the next relationship mm -hmm. and possibly end up in the same situation of being divorced. A lot of us grew up seeing dysfunctional families mm -hmm. Uh, dysfunctional marriages mm -hmm. and for some reason uh, that becomes our normal exactly and we never stop to challenge well what if I were to do it differently right exactly. I'm always asked who are my mentors and my answer always is and always will be Oprah Winfrey and Katie Couric with CBS News is to go to Oprah.com and make a pledge today to keep our roads safer by making that pledge to no longer text or utilize your phone while driving. I have to tell you, all of my guests signed the pledge today. If they did it, I know you can do it as well.